Hey everybody, I'm Joe Deganzik and this is Smarter Home Life. These are the Q&A episodes. This is the first one covering lighting, covering your questions, emails, comments, and so forth that came in during June 2017. And you know, they're always, de the episodes are delayed by about a couple of weeks or a month. So anyways, um, end of July here, getting these, uh, getting these out. And I want to bring kind of uh, a few things up to date uh, in terms of, little bit of housekeeping that are traditionally happens at the beginning of these episodes uh they're a little bit more a little bit more focused episodes and have a smaller audience than the general reviews uh and other episodes but that's totally cool so a couple of quick things before i get to that actually we'll jump right to that uh, immediately smart home life is possible because of wonderful people on patreon in addition to all the other ways that well smarter home life kind of keeps the lights on so to speak youtube advertising and affiliate links and so forth uh, there's an entire support page at smarterhomelife.com support different ways that you can learn uh learn that different wow i really screwed that up you can learn about the different ways to help support smarter home life at smarterhomelife.com slash support, including ways that say if you're just shopping on Amazon, uh, you can use our affiliate links. If you're already just planning to shop there, use the affiliate link. We get credit for it um, and it helps out the show. But beyond that, there's a number of people who help the show financially right through Patreon, which is a service that lets creators just like myself earn a living doing what they love, talking about home automation, lighting, all of those different things. Um, that I talk about here on the show and write about at smarterhomelife.com and share all kinds of interesting social posts uh, across social media. So anyways, um, these people, let's let's run off a couple of um, names that are kind of new. Studio 35, don't know the actual name, but I'm assuming it's kind of a design studio. Uh, David uh, Doptis, I think, I don't know if, uh, I think Doug Legrone, or is it Legrone or Legrone, maybe? And uh, Ralph, I was going to say Mozilla, but I'm sure he's not does not work for um, Firefox. Ralph Movilla. And Patreon is this wonderful way. Again, it's crowdfunding. Um, the subscriber count on YouTube continues to go up. So I now I have to kind of change it to say, you know, if a quarter, like 25% of everyone who subscribed to the YouTube channel contributed $1 through Patreon to kind of give back to say thanks for, for creating all this wonderful content, Smart Home Life would be doing really, really well. So just a little bit goes a long way if we get enough people to, to contribute. There's a lot of perks and rewards that you can get. I just did a wonderful uh, live uh, video chat, uh, Google Plus Hangout the other day with uh, all of the patrons to kind of bring them up to speed what's going on and give them the, uh, the, the 411 and the kind of secret info on what's coming soon. So all that cool stuff over at Patreon.com slash Smarter Home Life. I call, I, call I call it the insider program just kind of for fun and marketing purposes, but it is Patreon and it's a way that you can give back to Smarter Home Life. So moving past that, let's just get to move on. Uh, the other thing, I'll mention it briefly. Um, these uh, sessions have come about from these videos and from you emailing in. Uh, the many of you started asking for a way to simply get my time on a one-on-one -on -one basis through a video chat like skype or facetime earlier in the year to make a long story short it turned into kind of a thing many many more of you asked for it and, I, and i've done numerous sessions with many of you uh, on your lighting questions and your smart home questions virtually through these video services across the country and across the planet and i have honestly every time i do one of these I really look forward to it because I get to know you a little bit more, you get to know me, and I get to know your project. And it's easier than trying to go back and forth with 100 emails because you can take, uh, if you're on your, whether you're on your notebook or if you're definitely on a, on a phone, you can walk me around your place and say, this is what I wanna do, and here's the challenge and the problem I'm having, and I can immediately respond, and it's a two-way, it's an interactive, er, interactive type thing. It is really, really fantastic. These services are now live to the public. This session, these Q&A videos are going to continue. I can't always answer the complicated stuff over email, so sometimes I will uh, recommend a session if, if that makes sense. But the simple stuff, it's easy to do via email, questions at smarterhomelife.com, and that's what generates the content for these Q&As. The 
the YouTube um, commenting system is pretty awful for creators to sift through all of it and sometimes I miss them uh, when I'm going through to try to bake to bake to to make the best um, content possible that would be of most interesting or, or most interest um, God, I cannot talk tonight. I'm just exhausted from a, a number of days of creating a lot of content. So anyways, um, I try to put the questions and comments on these shows that are kind of, of, that would be interesting to a very wide audience. So anyways, not everything winds up on these shows. But anyways, send them in. Questions at smarterhomelife.com. That's the best way to get a hold of me. And we'll go from there. If you have questions on the content, on the consults that the information online doesn't uh, doesn't help uh, you determine send me an email again questions or joe or consulting at smarthomelife.com it all goes to me so let's get on with it i've only got one email um and this is a little bit of a smart lighting question but i want to throw it over here on the lighting side uh it does refer to led lighting I haven't done a tremendous amount of reviews lately on LED lighting, which is probably why we're not generating that much content for the lighting side. Um, I will be doing a few more uh, in, in the coming weeks and, and month or so, uh, hopefully two months. Uh, and I'm sure that Cree, who now releases products on a yearly basis, just like phones, is probably going to update their entire line of lights uh, and LED bulbs in September. So we'll probably have some reviews about that. So onward to uh, an email from Neil uh, from London in the UK. Loving the videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you. This is the stuff that I love to do and I love to make this content. I had a question about smart lighting in relation to doing a rebuild of my home. Nearly all rooms in my house are being reworked so I thought I would turn the house into a smart home while the walls while the walls are down. I get this question like almost every other day and these have been great for the consultations because it makes a lot of sense for me to see what you're doing and, and for to, you to ask a lot of different questions. But anyways, the question I have about lighting is I want all the rooms to have smart lighting and do you think it would be better to just buy a Z-Wave type dimmer switch or you know any other type of dimmer switch if we're talking about something that's going to be remotely controllable that would be an, an in-wall controller. Or would it be better to buy and replace all the lights that I have with Philips Hue or like a Z-Wave, uh, um, LifeX or a Lightify, any type of smart bulb, of course. We're, we're basically comparing smart dimmers versus smart lights. Would I need to buy a bunch of the, also would I need to buy a bunch of Hue dimmer switches, and I don't have that, I believe it's in storage because I have such a small space here. All the extra products that I do, that I review, that don't turn into giveaways go off-site so I don't have that here but I think I'll, I'll put up a, an image on the screen for you uh, to control them via a wall switch I remember you mentioning that you can't dim smart lights through a standard dimmer and that is correct for the most part um, Sengled offers one that you can and I believe there's there's one additional one that you can do as well however in general I'll make the blanket statement in general 99% of the time do not put smart lights on a existing dimmer switch or circuit. This is a tough question and it's really more of a financial question because if you add up the numbers, the minimum price for a smart bulb, say Philips Hue, that just is just has dimming and doesn't do any other functions except that, no color temperature changes, no colors, no fancy effects, those are $15 a piece. So think about all of the bulbs in your home if you're really converting to a true smart home and this is also the reason I will say also for me that I don't use smart lighting everywhere either. Smart lighting A is more expensive per bulb and B there are not, can I say this with accuracy? Yeah. Let me say this, let me also make this statement and I'll say this in general. In general every possible type of bulb in terms of you know from even if we talk about you know smart strip lighting which is kind of a new thing to traditional a-shaped bulbs um, which are your everyday you know run-of-the-mill just screw in light bulbs but everything else in terms of when you get to track lighting fixtures and specialty spot and flood fixtures that you know the, the ones that are frosted generally available as smart bulbs the ones that are a focused beam not always available as a smart bulb so when you're picking the right type of lighting for the application sometimes you can't find a smart bulb that will fit 
for what you need. And then it'll be frustrating because you'll have some stuff that's smart lighting, some stuff that isn't. You'll have this weird mix, which is actually what my uh, tiny home is, com is comprised of. And I'm just really picky about lighting, and you, you can see that in the videos. You can see that with all the specific types of, of lighting that I use, especially if you check out the, uh, the tiny smart home tour from the end of May. Really, really, it's gaining a lot of popularity right now. Um, but you can see the wide variety. So it really is kind of a financial question, not really an issue with control in terms of the functionality, but <clears throat> it really depends on how much you want to spend. And with what type of bulb is or what type of light is actually available as a smart light because Philips has a very wide variety of smart bulbs through their Philips Hue lighting. LifeX has a handful of them. Sylvania has a handful of them. A few of the other brands, Cree makes, you know, a standard A-shape uh, connected bulb. And let's see, TP-Link and gosh, there's two or three others. As, uh, there's a few others as well who make them, Insteon, of course, and, and uh, a few other brands but it hasn't expanded to every possible uh, type of light yet. And it probably won't uh, for a few years. We're gonna really see how widespread the smart lighting uh, industry really becomes. It's easy because you don't have to replace dimmers. You don't have to replace wall switches. Most people love the smart lighting concept. You screw in a bulb, you're done. Like, you know, hook it up to your Wi-Fi or hook it up to a hub, you're finished. You know, you don't have to do all that wiring and stuff. So. This really is a question of, of financial. I, he's got a remodel going on. All the, the drywall is down. He's got bare walls at this point, so it's easy to, to install new electrical. Um, even if you've got to run new circuits or so forth or replace things, it's easy to do at this stage. So I would say, again, figure out what type of lighting you want, uh, what type of bulbs, if you're going to have spot versus flood versus traditional A-shape versus bathroom vanity, there's so many different options that are out there that are going to be, um, that you need to have to specifically have that are applicable to the location of the light, type of light. There's many different questions. So um, it would be easier, of course, um, to do all smart lighting, but you also do gain, well, with smart lighting, you gain the, the functionality as well, the flexibility of having, you know, say that you have eight recessed cans in a room and usually they're all tied to one dimmer in a traditional um, kind of dumb lighting scenario. Uh, with smart lighting, you would gain the ability to control all of them separately or of course group them via software. So think about those things. Um, there is a plethora, there, there's no shortage of dimmers in terms of Z-Wave that'll work with hubs like SmartThings, uh, Vera and, and all the other Z-Wave type controllers. There's obviously Insteon. I love Insteon for many uh, of the attributes. They're just they're just beautiful. They work really well. Insteon doesn't play with as many different home automation systems as other um, uh, dimmers and other uh, lighting products do. But for what they do, they're really fantastic. Obviously, there are the newer products um, from uh, Leviton for HomeKit and uh, from Eve. The, uh, Elgato has. They don't have dimmers, but they also do have uh, on-off switches um, that are Bluetooth-based that work with HomeKit. So these are different questions, but there's no shortage of dimmers. There is a shortage still at this point of smart lighting. So that's a very, very, very long answer. Um, but that I just kind of wanted to include as much information as possible for you in terms of um, how to make your decision. And uh, hopefully that will help you out. So thank you, Neil, for your uh, question about that. I think I already replied to you uh, with uh, via email uh, because it came in uh, during June. So that was uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, so good luck with the project. If you do need additional help, please, uh, please contact me or go to the website directly and set up a, a scheduling. A, schedule a consultation. I really cannot speak tonight. Anyways, um, that is that. There was only one that really was uh, pretty interesting on the lighting front. So that's it for this episode, a relatively short Q&A episode. Again, if you haven't subscribed to Smarter Home Life, get all of the content uh, right here on YouTube, all the video content, and also check out smarterhomelife.com. There is a tremendous amount of text-based or written content at smarterhomelife.com, feature articles, long form, short form pieces. I just put out a piece um, a couple days ago about the new glass thermostat that was just teased and announced from 
Microsoft of all companies partnering with Johnson Controls, a really beautiful new product. I'm personally, I would rather have that than the Nest. Um, we're not going to hear more about it until they announce more details in the fall, but really interesting. So you can subscribe via different methods uh, over at smarterhomelife.com and across social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, there's additional content that's there. So however you like to get the content, you know, uh, more power to you and subscribe wherever you feel necessary. And also there is the new uh, podcast series that's also a part of the YouTube channel and smarterhomelife.com. So all kinds of cool stuff, everything revolving around the smarter home and just a little bit extra sometimes. And uh, that's it. So if you can also, of course, I'll, I'll mention one last time, if you can support us on Patreon, every little bit, every tiny little thing helps. And otherwise, Check out smarterhomelife.com slash support for all the other ways that you can help support the show. I'm Jody Ganzik. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time right here on one of these Smarter Home Life Q&A episodes. Take care.